All right, let's talk about how to get more views on your short form content. So if you have the problem that you are not getting enough views or you have low engagement or your account is not growing, this video will be for you. Specifically for online coaches, creators, consultants, or even clippers. If you are clipping content for faceless channels, this video will be valuable for you as well. First of all, you have to define what viral video means to you. So in my case, when I have 600 subscribers on YouTube, for me, a viral short form video is a video that gets above 2000 views because that's above average from what I normally get. These are different levels of virality depending on your account stage, basically. If you have 100,000 subscribers or if you have 1000 subscribers, these are different virality levels. The next thing you have to understand what makes video to go viral. So there are two main things. One thing is that uh, there is a watch time and the second thing is engagement. Regarding the watch time, we're gonna cover this in a moment. Now regarding the engagement, what makes people to engage with your video? So there are three main things that I found that makes people to engage. So the first thing is the topics. So if you create a topic that is controversial, so people are more likely to agree or disagree with your video and they are more likely to engage with your video. The second thing is questions. So if you ask your audience a question, they are more likely to respond to that question if it's relevant to your video. And the last thing is the offer. So for example, if you say comment X to get a free resource, so people are more likely to comment X on your video because they want to get something for free that you can send them personally. So this specifically works on Instagram and TikTok because you can send a direct message. Let's cover how to increase the watch time. So the first thing that I found that works really, really well was uh, commenting strategies. When you have a video and you have a call to action that says read the caption and then on YouTube, because there is no way to write a longer caption, there is a description, but you have a title for the short videos and then you have a description. So the description, there is too many buttons to click to find where it is, you know, and then to read it. So no one's gonna do that. So description is for SEO purposes uh, to rank your video higher. But the title is the one that is visible at the bottom. So in the title, you want to write, read the comments. So the video says, read the caption, then people gonna read the title, which is supposed to be description and then it says read the comments then people are gonna go to the comments and then in the comments you can write a long valuable comment of your own so this can be a strategy a plan insights anything that is relatable to the context that you can expand on and give more value so when people are gonna be reading that comment your video is playing in the background and you automatically getting retention numbers higher and you are getting more views and algorithm gonna see this signal that people are rewatching your video multiple times so it's gonna push your video organically to a wider audience that's a very simple strategy and it works perfectly and it works on all the social media platforms so that's on Instagram on TikTok and on YouTube so for Instagram and TikTok specifically you can write this caption not in the comment section but in the in, in the caption itself because you have more characters to write a longer caption there but then in the comment section for Instagram and TikTok you can just have a question you know you can you can post a question that you are asking your audience uh, about something and then they are more likely to answer that question to engage with your video and because they also was reading the caption which was long they also were replaying the video so you get two things in place you get the replays you get the watch time and you get people to engage because you posted a question so the next thing if you are posting talking head videos so there is a couple of things uh, that you need to really work on is the beginning of the video so that's the the hook you know i know that so many Many people talk about this but uh, how to do this properly is basically you want to look at the other accounts at the other videos that went viral for somebody else and you want to take the sentence in the beginning what they said or what text did they use or what sentence did they say in the beginning of their video and then just use that exact sentence in your next video so it's gonna hook the audience but uh, the next part of the video you have to change it and adapt it to yourself so it's gonna be a unique video based on virality element that was working for somebody else now the next thing is the topics selection how do you select the video topics that should be the number one priority before you do any of this right so you have to select the right topics and how to do that is basically you want to define what is your target audience so who are you targeting and you want to write down what are top 10 
dream results and pain points of your target audience. So for example, in social media marketing, dream results could be make money online, get more leads, get more followers uh, to grow account, right? Th this could be a dream results. Now the pain points can be low views, no engagement, don't have time, content is not aesthetically looking good, right? So these can be the problems uh, that your audience can have. All the videos that you will be creating, you have to be talking about these topics that are relevant to your target audience. So the content that you create is the audience that you attract. You have to understand. If you create random videos, you're going to attract random audience who's not going to be engaging with your next videos. So this is going to slow down your process and this will be the problem why you are not growing. Now regarding growing your account, there are a couple of things that you have to have in place. So the first one, you really want to double check what countries you are reaching with your content. So every social media platform has insights and you can double check that. What happens if you are not reaching the right target audience? So for example, if I'm posting videos and I'm reaching Asian countries and if I'm reaching uh, European countries, I'm not gonna get the engagement I want, right? And my account will not be growing because that's not what my target audience is, right? So that's the reason why your account is not growing. So you have to double check what countries you are reaching. The two solutions that I found, Instagram, my followers are based in Asia, like my initial followers, <laughs> based in Asia and Europe. And I started posting uh, videos for targeting US and English speaking countries. And I was not growing. <laughs> my views were low and stuff like this. So what I tried was boosting the post specifically to United States. And this helped me to get more views and this helped me to get new followers. So that's still in the process, but I see the first positive signs that it's working. So when you post new content organically, so it's going to be pushed automatically to this audience because they are already engaging with your content, right? So that's what algorithm sees. The next thing is that uh, on TikTok, I found a way how can you reach uh, US audience. So you can check out my previous video. I created a separate video for that topic. I can leave the link in the description below. You can check it out. Now the next thing is regarding the funnel. You have to understand what, what makes people to follow you, right? So when you create a short form video, it's not the one video that makes people to follow you. It's the videos that you posted previously. So the video that you post today has just one goal is that people gonna check your profile so it should bring you the profile visits that's the only one goal of the video that you post that means you have to optimize your profile to make people to convert so this is where the conversion rate comes in place so profile visits to followers that's a conversion rate and how you can increase your conversion rate is basically uh, to have a nice profile picture to have a nice bio to have a nice thumbnails on your videos and uh, this will make people to follow you regarding the thumbnails there is uh, one thing that you have to understand that on instagram you can upload custom thumbnails but on youtube and on tiktok you cannot really upload custom thumbnails so you have to select the moment from the video so when i mentioned it that you have to think about the hooks the beginning of the video also have to add the text in the beginning of the video so for two to three seconds in the beginning you want to have a catchy title of the video so this will be the thumbnail moment that you will be selecting for your videos now for youtube specifically when you are uploading short form videos upload it through your phone uh, because if you do that on laptop, uh, then YouTube gonna select a uh, random part of your video as a thumbnail. But if you upload short form videos through your phone, then you can select the thumbnail manually. And you want to select the beginning of the video with a catchy title. So that means when you creating new videos, people are coming to visit your profile. They're gonna see all the videos you posted previously. The topic will be visible for each of the video. So this will increase the chances that people gonna watch more than one video. And this is gonna increase your chances to convert people and to increase your conversion rate. So that's very simple. The next uh, thing is the consistency, <laughs> basically. So you want to stay consistent. So if you are posting just one time per week, that's obviously not enough to grow your account. The optimal amount is to post one video per day. Yeah, so these are the things and I hope that was helpful and see you in the next one.